welcome one and all in this video i am trying to focus the practical chemistry specifically about pg level organic chemistry laboratory which involving the separation of two components from the mixture that is basically about our a uh, pilot separation bulk separation and the basics involved in the separation process etc in this video so in this analysis simply it is called a semi micro qualitative analysis uh, in this particular category uh, we are going to separate the components from the mixture so why need the, why we need a separation so if the uh, separation is not happening so what will happen uh, those involving components that is in a mixture of the component for example uh, i have a carboxylic acid which is mixed with some phenolic compound both the things is having different functional group so that both of them are independently acting with each other that's why we need a separation so i'm repeating here the identification of the component of a mixture of your organic substance without separating them is a difficult task because the presence of the mixture which has a two or more functionality so which function independently of each other therefore the separation of the component from a mixture is very very important that can be happen based on two category one is the solubility in a suitable solvent and their chemical properties so i'm repeating here uh, in a semi micro qualitative analysis of a mixture we are going to separate it on the basis of the solubility as well as on the basis of chemical properties that we are going to separate it in general the classification of our organic compounds according to the nature of the reactivity it has been classified into four categories acidic phenolic basic and neutral so acidic mean compound which contains a carboxylic acid and sulfonic acid carboxylic acid as well as sulfonic acid separately it may be there so the compound which contain carboxylic acid mean rcoh and uh, so3 h is the sulfonic acid so if suppose uh, these things are present in a compound which is comes in the category of acidic that means the compound which is having a tendency of give up the h plus ions or comes under the category of acidic so here preferably they are given a rcoh group uh, that is monocarboxylic acid dicarboxylic acid or otherwise a unsaturated monocarboxylic acid may be given in this category so phenolic compound means uh, roh that mean compound which contains a roh for example compound containing a phenol or substituted phenols or naphthols comes under the category of uh, in a ar aromatic category of compounds only given in this particular category uh, it may be otherwise called weakly acidic uh, you may be having idea about the formation of phenoxide in a phenol so phenoxide ion formation and giving h plus ions which is taking time that's why it is a weakly acidic category third category is a compound containing nitrogens so nitrogen containing compounds are in general called as an basic there is there is some exceptional cases also there but the compound which contains a r nh2 r2 nh that is a primary amine secondary amine may be given in this category of the compound and fourth category is a neutral substance most of the organic compounds are neutral in nature and it has been classified into uh, two more categories one is a less reactive category of neutral and more reactive category of neutral so apo less reactive category means hydrocarbons and aromatic nitro compounds more reactive neutrals are our alcohols aldehydes ketones esters and carbohydrates etc all those things involving in this category uh, will be given in a combination for example the possible list of combinations can be given in a mixture which is listed here component 1 and component 
sometimes the acidic and neutral substance and basic and neutral phenolic and neutral acidic and phenolic phenolic and basic category of these combination co components may also be given for the separation so that means uh, in the examination they have given you either acidic and neutral for one student another category of uh, uh, another set of students may have uh, basic and neutral and few more others they are getting phenolic and neutral acidic and phenolic phenolic and basic substance may also be given for the separation purpose and we are going to start the separation with the pilot testers so what is pilot test generally it has been done subject into a small quantity of uh, our mixture can be taken and simply identify based on the solubilities so before affecting the separation of the component from the bulk of a given mixture the method of separation must be determined which is called a pilot testers so in the pilot category they are going to do two set of the solubility factors so solubility in water and solubility in ether so they are going to find these two things only first approximately you can take 0.2 grams of a mixture and treat this with water shake it well note the inference and test the content with our litmus paper to find out whether it may be acidic or basic if suppose acidic basic is not available in your mixture uh, then uh, we, it may be other category of phenolic or neutral may also be available so here we are going to find with the solubility of water is a very important parameter because we are finding either it is acid or base if suppose uh, it is not answering for that in turn you are finding that these two categories may not be available if the component is soluble in water then its generation in a solid form is not possible so that this is the important uh, point to be noted second category solubility in ether so here approximately 0.2 gram of the mixture is treated with 2 ml of diethyl ether simply hereafter we are calling this as a ether only diethyl ether only we are calling this as a ether and uh, shake the content and note the inference so here the three possibility of things is happening the possibility of the thing one is both the component of the mixture is insoluble in water or insoluble in uh, ether that means what i am going to say that you are taking some substance adding the ether and finding the inference the inference may be in the three cases case number one both the component of the mixture is insoluble in ether second case is only one component of a mixture is soluble in ether third category both the component of the mixture is soluble in ether so what i'm trying to say that both are insoluble or one is only one is soluble both are soluble so these are the three categories that uh, involving in the case of our separation so case number one is ultimately ruled out one because both component of the mixture is insoluble in ether is a rare of the rarest case according to this pg level laboratory so that this is out of our scope and it is not recommended in the case so that it may it definitely ruled out number two only one component of a mixture is soluble in ether so this is uh, is relatively very easy uh, those the candidate those who are having a insoluble and soluble substances is very easy to do because insoluble uh, content is filtered off and soluble content is recovered from the evaporation of the ether so ether layer is hereafter uh, generally called as an organic layer organic layer ether layer both are same and the method of separation of this case 2 that is only one component soluble in ether is called ether separation that means take the organic substance add ether stir it well allow it to stand for few minutes find out the insoluble substance is there and soluble substance is there take a filter paper funnel and set up the filtration setup and transfer the entire content to this and get the insoluble content in the top of the uh, filter paper and ether layer is uh, uh, content is in the conical flask 
and separate and evaporate the ether layer to get the soluble substance so this is called ether separation this is the very easy category of uh, finding this one third possibility that is case 3 is both component of the mixture is soluble in ether so this is very common most of the examiners are preferable to give a both components are soluble in ether so in this category one must treat very carefully to follow the steps so in this particular uh, separation of uh, our uh, component is done based on the chemical behavior so number one uh, the particular uh, component can be divided into three categories so one portion is treated with sodium hydroxide so one one portion is treated with sodium bicarbonate followed by hydrochloric acid and another ca case uh, sodium hydroxide followed by hydrochloric acid and hydrochloric acid followed by sodium hydroxide that's why simply i'm ma making you uh, three categories here so in the case of our both components are soluble what you are going to do you are going to treat with bicarbonate solution sodium bicarbonate solution first category and second category you are going to discuss with our sodium hydroxide third category you are going to treat with our hydrochloric acid so i am giving you one by one here to make a note of this one once these substances is added one by one individually in this category in such cases we are getting a organic layer in the top portion and aqueous layer in the bottom of portion so one of the component is available here one of the component is available here so you are going to make a separation here by means of the separating funnel so i am explaining this step one by one is very easy to understand so first category see that uh, now the organic mixture is dissolved in the ether and you are finding that because this is a totally soluble both of them are soluble now treat this with 5 ml of approximately 5 ml of aqueous sodium bicarbonate solution in a test tube take in a test tube uh, the mixture organic mixture now add a 5 ml of sodium bicarbonate solution so what will happen shake it well and allow it to stand for a minute so two layers are separated top layer is a organic layer and bottom layer is a aqueous layer using our dropper take this organic layer into another test tube now in the aqueous layer just add a drop of our approximately 2 ml of concentrated hydrochloric acid now there will be appearance of precipitate which ensures the presence of acidic component in this mixture now you have another component here so one of the component that you are identifying here which is based on our acidic component from this you have a organic portion here in the another test tube okay that has been treated for next steps and here point to be noted here oxalic acid and succinic acid cannot be regenerated as a solids so because we are concentrating on acidic substance components here so that oxalic and succinic acid most of the cases examiners are not preferred to give for the examination so because these components or regeneration as a solid is very difficult because they have uh, highly soluble in water so due to the solubility these two components in the acid category will not be given now so we are concentrating about the yellow color that is a organic layer or ether layer now if suppose acidic component is not coming what you are going to do we have a ether layer with that ether layer you are going to add a sodium hydroxide approximately 5 ml shake it well and allow to stand for a minute now you are getting like in a previous slide you are getting a two layers one is a organic layer which is a top portion and aqueous layer is a bottom portion now with the help of the dropper you can take a organic layer or ether layer both of them are same you are taking organic layer into another test tube 
Now, with the bottom layer, that is our aqueous layer, is treated with approximately 2 ml of concentrated uh, hydrochloric acid. Find out the regeneration or reappearance of the dissolved substances happens, which indicates the presence of phenolic compound, which is called a weakly acidic compound. So, uh, since it is a weakly acidic, you are going to do a strong base followed by strong acid. So, which implies that the formation of phenolic compound in a mixture. If suppose it is not coming, you have a uh, ether layer which contains in the test tube, go with the third step. So, this stage our uh, organic layer is there, that organic layer is treated with 5 ml of dilute hydrochloric acid now. So, shake it well, allow to stand for a minute, it will come like this, organic layer in the top, aqueous layer in the bottom. Now, with the help of our um, separating funnel or if you are doing the test with the test tube, if you are doing with the test tube, you can dropper is enough, otherwise you are uh, unable to do with the dropper, you can use the separating funnel. But separating funnel is going to be used only in the bulk separation only. Just for to know about the easy understanding, I am giving you a pictorial expression about the organic layer and the aqueous layer here. Now, take up this one organic layer in a another test tube and you have a aqueous layer in the bottom of the test tube and add approximately 3 ml to the aqueous layer that is the bottom layer. Now, find out there will be a regeneration of the substance is taking place which implies the basic component. So, uh, basic component is available in the mixture if suppose acidic category is not coming, phenolic is not coming, basic is not coming. In such cases, that particular or organic layer is evaporated or evaporation of this organic layer or ether layer to get a neutral component. So, you have to ensure that both the soluble, both components are soluble means your content must be either acidic or phenolic or basic category is there followed by one neutral is there. So, this is the uh, simplest way to identify our, our mixture of the component which contains a two components. So, this flow overall flow chart will help, help you for the entire pilot's test. So, I am repeating this flow chart which has been explained previously. Now, the organic mixture is dissolved in the ether. So, here we ensure that both the component are soluble in ether, this particular flow chart is applicable. First, initially you are going to add a sodium bicarbonate solution in a test tube, you are getting a two layers are separated, shake it well, allow it to stand for few minutes, you are getting a two layers. The organic layer is taken into another, uh, the top layer, the organic layer is separated here and bottom layer, aqueous layer is here. With the aqueous layer, you add a concentrated hydrochloric acid. If there is a regeneration happens, which implies a acidic component. Otherwise, you can take this ether layer, add sodium hydroxide solution. Now, mix it well, allow to stand for few minutes. You are getting a two layers are separated and the top layer is taken into the another test tube. And the bottom layer which contains a aqueous layer, you have to take a concentrated hydrochloric acid, shake it well, you are getting a regeneration occurs which implies a phenolic component. So, if it is coming, you are going to ensure that phenolic component is available. Otherwise, you have to go to our ether layer. Add a dilute hydrochloric acid, two layers are separated within the aqueous layer, you are going to take a uh, organic layer separately and with the aqueous layer add a sodium hydroxide, any regeneration occurs which implies a basic component is available. If anything is not available, finally evaporation of the ether will give you a neutral substance. So, according to this flow chart, our component is two component is soluble in a ether means you are getting either this or this one combination. This or this combination is also possible. 
and acidic one is phenolic and phenolic and basic and acidic and neutral phenolic and neutral and basic and neutral so the possibility i have given in the almost in uh, one of the slides i have mentioned you about the acidic component uh, component as well as neutral phenolic and neutral basic and neutral and acidic and uh, phenolic and phenolic and basic like these combinations that they have given you for your easy understanding while doing the testers you are very much clear about this particular uh, pilot analysis in the next uh, category once you analyze this particular uh, uh, pilot thing you have to report like the given organic compound which contains either both the things are soluble means you have to mention that one is acidic component another one is a neutral or acidic component another one is a phenolic one like that you have to uh, give your report so once you clearly understood this one next category in the next video we are going to focus on our bulk separation techniques so thanks for watching this video thank you